Well, it's Sunday, and I'm setting up inside. It's a sprinkle sun coming down here, but right now it's okay. But guys, we come inside, set up. So I've got everything inside now except for one meager item. I'm going to get it now. Automatic doors. Oh, that's. Door opens up like this. Bingo. I'm up in next to the clothes. This is my Williams and Sonoma setup. Well, when I got all set up, the guy said he'd, I didn't bring my extension cord because I didn't think I was going to need it. I figured I'd be outside in the tent. He said, I got an extension cord, don't worry about it. So that was a half hour ago. And I guess he's uh, busy. So I had to buy one. Bought a 25 foot. It's a nice little cord though, heavy duty. And I got it hooked up. There's the track leading over there, it goes over there, plugs in on that wall right there. We'll see how it goes. I had one customer stop by. Nothing permanent. I got some disturbing news last night. Chris and I went to eat our last meal with Ramazan. Ramazan's on the left there. He's the he was the owner of the Mayflower Cafe. And he sold it a year and a half or so ago to a fellow named Gingen. And he worked with him until tomorrow. He's going back to Turkey forever. Well, I shouldn't say forever. He's going to spend Turkey, the summer in Turkey and the winter in California with his kids. My friend Ramazan. He's a nice guy. Really good food. I don't know what the cafe, cafe will be, the Mayflower Cafe will be without him. He had the best, greatest split pea soup I ever had in my life. We'll just have to see how it goes. Uh, Beaver went to the Land Donato last night. I might as well put that in here while I'm here. He had a, he found a junk ring and a crushed up gold filling, he thinks, and a bunch of other stuff but nothing uh, of any great consequence. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. Yeah, there we go. I guess you can see that. That's all of that's all of it. That's his nut. That's his bling ring and a bling bracelet or springy thing. That's his gold tooth, 2.7 grams. And there's a picture of it. The land of nada, last night. Well, we got action already. We got a pocket knife, a LL Bean, uh, you know, like a Victor Knox knife. I'm sure it's made by Victor Knox for LL Bean, and a Spotico. Got some nasty stuff on the blade. And then I have a returning customer. I don't know where she came from. But she has a gathering of knives. And I have done them before. She said about a year ago, when I was working at a church fair on Thursday afternoon in King's Grant. She has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. She has a global that has a few microchips along the blade. And she has a shun, a shun. That's in relatively good condition. And a little utility knife and a boner and some Paris. And one big Gerber chef's knife. So I got, no, uh -oh, we got a Santuco International, no, Wistoff. 
Okay, we got to go to work. I'm finishing up. That's all I got left of those. I got another Spotico and a Kershaw. And the guy just walked in. He's got a machete and a hatchet. I mean, an axe, a double-headed axe. I told him I couldn't do it in here, but if it's not raining, I can do it outside. So I'm gonna take my. I already got an extra sharpener in the truck, so all I got to do is set my generator outside and not be set up. Well, I did find this because I'm not on there. I have to bring some, bring one of the flyers back, stick it on here. They got another side to it too. I did put some business cards up here four or five months ago. Man, I didn't know this old pocket knives like gurus. We got a What other kind they got over here? Oh man, they got a gathering. Gerbers, Leatherman, Kershaws. These are extreme open Smith and Wessons. They're fine tickets. Case. Damn, look at that one. I like those yellow hair ones. Okay. Let's go find another board. She said there's another one back here. Oh, it's a tiny one back here by the bathrooms. <laughs> Tie water trails, Priority Chevrolet. Okay, we have to bring one back here too. I'm leaving early. The weather is terrible. Not here, but it's coming so fast. I just talked to Chris. She said it's raining brick bats at home. So stand by. We'll see what happens on our way. Well, the first raindrops of Dennis. I see a lot of lightning. And gully washer. We're having a gully washer. Well, the rain has stopped. I got the truck all cleaned out. I've been helping Chris move some some stuff around. That's all gone. We put a pole on that baby so it'll straighten that up. These four boxwoods were along there. I don't know what this is gonna look like, but she's got it all figured out in her head. Mm. We'll have to see.
about 4.30. Hi, Bingo Jack. Is it time to go outside? <laughs> we can't go yet. We've got things to do. My daughter's flying in from Denver. She's been in Denver all week. The company she works for was based in Denver. And they wanted to move out there, but she's reluctant to do it, but I think she may. She's been there a long time. I mean, she's a greener, does green financing for big green corporations. Oh, the eagles are back. Look at that, them eagles. Damn, they took off. Green-headed eagles. Uh-oh, there's a eagle chaser. Look at her, she hates them. Anyway, they had like a family thing. They flew out her significant other Wednesday and they're both flying back today on different flights in an hour. I gotta pick them up at the airport. So I'll find out how things went when I see her.